how to create a vector from a raster image, such as this banana, it could be an apple, it could be a car, etc. in Illustrator. So how to do it? Using the mesh tool. So the mesh tool, however, you need a curve, a path to work with. So I'd suggest with, because obviously a banana, curvature tool. So go there, but there's also the pen tool as well. And then just add points all the way around. Just click on that and add. Now, if you've got, you can see white there, the fill, just go up here, just select here, so there's no fill, and then continue to add. And to finish off, just click the first point. Once you've done that, I would just go over here to the eyedrop tool and select there. And then hover over this, and I would suggest that is the main area of color, just perhaps there. So you've got the general color to work with. Now I would suggest move this out of the way and also maybe resize it so it is out of the way. You just want it as a reference. Don't, it doesn't have to be exactly the same size as before. Just want it fairly small and so I can use the eyedropper to select. However, I just want it out of the way because this bounding box always clicks on there by accident. Now with that, I want to add some mesh to this. So mesh, go over here, mesh tool good starting point or gradient mesh sometimes called and you can see as you hover over there you've got a plus if you hover over there it's not but I want to add it on the edge so click there and click there go all the way around now you can add as many as you like maybe not as many there up to you just vary it now it can get a bit ugly the way it overlaps sometimes it has a mind of its own, I think, sometimes. Then obviously there's a, some maths behind it, but however, sometimes it will get tangled up. And you can always undo. Just undo it and just tweak it, okay? Just subtle, and then suddenly you'll find that the thing is just not a problem anymore. And then go this side. So you've gone all the way along this edge, or you could have gone this edge, of course, as well, but just go here. Now it will add it all the way around like that. And again, do that. And you can add as many as you like. But I'm going to suggest about there, maybe there as well. Just add a few. Now what you can do, go over here, direct selection tool. Because what you're going to do, select these points. So I'm just going to select these points. Hold down the shift, so as you're doing that. Now this is where I say it gets a bit messy because you can see now I've got these points. It's a bit hard to see what's, so I'm just going to, Go with that and you can change it and again eye drop tool go up here and i would suggest it's got the greens and there i'm just gonna yeah that's fine again go here direct selection tool with that selected go to that one and now go along eye drop tool go on there again i would suggest it's about that area so click there maybe slightly less you just want to look at it and just see is it creating the colors that you think that should be there? Yes, that's just what I want. I want that sort of slight change of color from that to that. Direct section tool again, select this one. Hold down the shift again, so you select all the way around. And again, it does get messy a bit in some places. So, so that's all selected. Eyedropper, and again, go here, maybe slightly, and just, yeah, it's got some greens in there. And you can position it where you want. Yes, I think that's about right. Yes, I think that's nice. And this one, I drop a tool again and select there. And it's a lot brighter, so I want, and I want it to be brighter. I drop a tool and I, you could go with the edge as well. Now I've got some green there along the top. So I think green, it could be nice just to go with green. So I'm just gonna, Select these, and I drop her again. I'm just going to go for the green because it's not. I mean, obviously, you're never going to get it 100%, but I think that green. Now you can tweak these as well. So you've got here direct selection point. Just select this bit at the top, and then go again. I drop a tool just to get that brown there. Mm, maybe could be slightly lighter in place. However, you can see the general gist. However, there's also some dots on here as well. You might like to add that. Obviously, you do not want a perfect banana. 
unlikely that any banana is exactly like that. And if you want to add some additional, and obviously you can even see this end, you could again select a few points or add some additional points using the mesh tool. Add some additional points there and then select that area to make that the green area there. However, I always find Illustrator slightly fiddly when it comes to adding little points. Now you could use the mesh tool and create very, very narrow areas to create this little dot. You can see a dot there. And I'm just gonna create a very, very tiny dot. And again, eyedrop tool, go over there and you can see click there. And it's brown there. So you can see the brown. Now it's not particularly what I want. And you can see the result there. You might like to, because it's slightly blurry, though that could be more my uh, camera work, but you can select it and you can always go to effect and blur and Gaussian blur, just to blur it slightly wide. So there we have it, a very quick banana design, but it could be anything using the mesh tool. And of course you can finesse it, maybe add a few more mesh points to create even more structure in it than that. But I uh, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.